I mentioned the national anthem controversy earlier, and we, we had an appearance. And, and, and I think what's going on here, here's my opinion. Warren Sapp has emerged after five, six, seven years of being out of the spotlight. His career at NFL media ultimately ended because of his own misconduct away from the camera and microphone. He started to emerge again, and I think he is contemplating carving out some real estate in the very profitable, right-leaning sports media space, because there are so many people who are sports fans who are right-leaning. And from that position of espousing the various right-leaning views, will scream at anyone who dares to suggest anything that could be left-leaning and tell them to stick to sports while they continue to espouse the right-leaning views and profit from it. I think Warren Sapp thinks there may be a lane for him there. He, he said some things recently that defended John Gruden for the comments that were made in the emails that ultimately got John Gruden fired. And more recently, Warren Sapp addressing Colin Kaepernick's workout with the Raiders saying, I heard it was terrible. I heard it was one of the worst workouts ever. I mean, that is such a hyperbolic statement. How do you even prove that? One of the worst workouts ever. How do you even begin to prove that? A hundred years of NFL life and Colin Kaepernick's workout was one of the worst ever. Anytime you hear that kind of hyperbole, that's when you have to have your BS detector start to flash. What's he really trying to do here? Who's he really trying to pander to? What's he really trying to set himself up for? in the media space. I asked Kaepernick's agent about Sapp's comments. Kaepernick's agent responded forcefully. The post is at PFT. Hundreds of thousands have already visited the post. I'm sure people will watch this video and it will polarize folks. But you know, the bottom line is, we know why Colin Kaepernick was shunned by the NFL and continues to be shunned. Now at this point, after five years out, maybe his skills have eroded. I don't know. But all the indications contemporaneous to the workout were that it was a good workout. And as Peter King explained on PFT Live, maybe now Kaepernick is on what they call the ready list for the Raiders. If they need a backup quarterback, they'll call him. Maybe some other team will bring him in for a workout as we get closer to camp. Who knows? Who knows? But the idea that you're just going to say it was one of the worst workouts ever with nothing to back it up other than I heard, I heard. Who's talking to Warren Sapp? How does Warren Sapp know? And when Ka and I know Kaepernick's agent has a bias in this, but he says, I've talked to the GM. I've talked to the head coach. They thought it was a good workout. Now, if he's lying, the coach and the GM can make their views known that Jeff Nally is misrepresenting what was said to him about Kaepernick's workout. And I know that it's, it's a minefield, but I, I just, I ignored what Sapp originally said because I think I know which way his, his resurrected for him, hopefully, media career is heading. And uh, I have a feeling it's heading down a path where we're going to be hearing plenty of things from Warren Sapp that would be music to the ears of those who would like to tell the rest of us to stick to sports. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.